Yeah, Steve, that's absolutely right. Now, here at Central Maine Medical Center, there are eight of those individuals who were injured in these shootings now just over 24 hours ago being treated. But we are beginning to learn the names, the histories, the friends, the families of some of those 18 people who lost their lives last night. We want to tell you a little bit about what we have been learning about them, stories from friends and families, including what they were doing last night. Joseph Walker, Bob Violetta, Trish Aslam, Steve Vozella, Bill Brackett, Michael Delorio, the second and Peyton Brewer Ross. Now the family of Joe Walker say they waited 14 hours to finally get word that Joe was among those killed. Investigators telling that family of the manager at the bar and grill, the second location targeted by the gunman, that he died trying to protect his co-workers, his customers, other people in the bar while shots were being fired. In all eight people found dead at that bar, each of them men, Brackett and Vizella, were part of a group of deaf people who had met at the bar that evening to play cornhole together. Walker leaving behind lots of friends, a loving family, including his wife and two children. Bob Violetta was the head of the youth bowling program at the bowling alley here in Lewiston. That was the first location allegedly targeted by this gunman. Friends tell us that he was killed trying to protect kids in that bowling program. I have no doubt that he was protecting those kids till the end. He is just such a, a good man that he deserves people to know about him and what he meant to everyone. Now, Lou now, the city of Lewiston, the second largest city in the state of Maine, but make no mistake, this is a small, tight-knit community. People here know their neighbors. Each one of these 18 lives lost has many friends, many family members, no one in this community unaffected by these killings. Live in Lewiston, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.